Yeah, it's Beth. Welcome back. Welcome back. I appreciate you. So sad. KKK. KKK. Young nigga, I got old cash spazzing on the ass. I got product on my whole ass. What's going on, guys? It's your man C to the J to the C. Y'all already know how it be, though. If you want the best story times on YouTube, the emotions, the feeling, the passion, the jokes, all the great moments we share, then subscribe to my channel right now. Hit that bell. Hit the bell because sometimes YouTube be acting. So if you don't hit the bell, they won't tell you right away when I upload. They'll tell you days later and that F up the process. But am I, it's your host, your man C to the J to the C, straight from 305 Miami Dade County. But now I live in Orlando. Y'all know why I live, came out here for college. I graduated college December 28th. Shout out to me. And y'all already know, free all my niggas. That's the, that's the, 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 the logo. But today I got a good story time for you. So let's. Let's, let's not waste no time. No time to converse. Now I'm burst from the old western, like waters. All right. So today's story time. Uh, I'm gonna talk about. Uh, this was like a really emotional moment, and it happened last year. Like it's fresh. Like just last year it happened, and it was like, it was like when I failed my first two classes of my life, and it and the timing it happened. So all right. So let's get to it. Um. So. Basically, God has blessed me to the point where I passed elementary school, never fell a class, even the FCAT. And if you guys live in Florida, you know about the FCAT, the Florida Comprehensive Assessment Test. It's a test that has the writing aspect, the math, and the reading. And in third grade, if you don't pass the math and reading with a, a, a high enough score, you will flunk the third grade. For those of y'all flunked the third grade, I'm not trying to make fun of y'all, but y'all know what I'm talking about. You will fail the third grade in Florida if you do not pass the Florida Comprehensive Assessment Test, aka the FCAT. And basically, I even passed third grade. Got through third, fourth, fifth, never failed class. Middle school, with like I went to like a y'all already know if y'all see my past story time. I went to Miami Edison Middle School, one of the worst middle schools in Miami Dade County. But shout out to my Raiders, like it's us, bro, us against the world. And you know Edison Senior High, one of the worst, <laughs> was across the street along with the police department. So basically, like um, I had it all, like the violence, all of that. I went through all the rough parts, and basically, like um, went through middle school. Never failed a class. Went through high school, even with all the slack and the tardies, all that stuff, never failed a class. God blessed me, and I was able to go through all the never failed class. Went through Miami Dade College, got my AA degree for two years, and it was a lot of struggling. Never failed a class. Moved down here, first semester UCF, never failed a class. Semester after, never failed a class until last year. And there will be two parts to this story time. So there's part one. Since I failed two classes, I'm gonna tell y'all the first class I, I failed and then how it happened, how I felt, the emotion behind it. Because like I told you, I never failed a class before. And then when it happened for the first time, like it must have been traumatized. Like what was, how did I feel? So let me let y'all know. So, um, so basically 2017 fall, it was like the semester before the final semester. It was me and all the boys, all my friends. We was gonna miss each other because we've been here for at UCF for two years. Like I, I moved out here in Orlando in 2016 of January, and that was January 9th. School started January 11th of 2016. It's 2019 here. January already passed. I've been here for three years. And when I moved out here, you guys know, like if y'all see the part one and part two of my past story time, I got to do a part three to it too. Uh, I just remembered that. But yeah, like, um, yeah, so 2017 fall, all your friends, we talking about our dreams and hope after college, what's our plans, what we plan on doing, all the good shit, like basically after college, because in the, our final semester, most of only a few of us had graduated 2017 in the fall. But most of us, nearly all of us, gonna graduate next 2018 spring. So 2018 spring come, it was a tough semester. It was really tough. I had capstone, capstone was a class that everyone has to take is a required class to take before you graduate from UCF. And every major, uh, you know, I'm a biz. I was a business major in great business, and it's a class where every business major is in. So 
your team that you're in that does the capstone project is gonna be filled with business majors. Like I was in a great business. I had a teammate that was finance, finance, accounting, finance, and probably economics and stuff like that. So we all teamed up and you're gonna meet different aspects. And capstone was really challenged. I was scared I was gonna fail that, but by grace of God, I passed. And it was also human resource, HR. I was scared I was gonna fail that class. Grace of God, I passed. Now tell me how two classes I wasn't worried about end up being the two classes that I failed. First class, project management. Second class, uh, managerial economics. Project management is kind of really personal. Like that was the final class I finished this past fall to graduate. And you see, so y'all see, the y'all already ruined the ending for y'all telling y'all like I, I persevered. So when I, so when I took managerial economics, I had a great group with me. It was me, uh, May, and it was, um, what's her face again? I don't remember that whole name. It was Hope, yeah, Hope, May, uh, Maya, she's French. So I, I have a French background being Haitian American, parents born in Haiti. Me, like I told y'all, born in Miami 305. Shout out to my, all free all my niggas, boy. But yeah, like, um, yeah, like, uh, like I said, I never failed class. It was the final semester, super stressful. Worried about capstone, doing my things, uh, thinking about like life after school, applying to different jobs, setting up interviews, going to career fairs, all that good shit. Like it was just a lot going on in that final semester, 2018 spring. And most of my friends, we barely see each other. We never had the time, always was busy, all that shit and things like that. So, so yeah, so basically like, um, so yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm tripping. So basically like uh, project management and manager economics. Let's start from manager economics. So it, in, in my group, it was me, Hope, uh, Maya, and I forgot his name. I would take my phone and see, cause I still got the group me for that group and see the name, but I don't want to disrespect y'all and leave the scene. I mean, I know some YouTubers do it, but I appreciate y'all. Like y'all feel me? Like I appreciate y'all for real. So I'm gonna just stay here, and just say uh, what's his name. So it was him, my from from France. She's from Paris, and she moved here for a while. And, but she, her French is still like um, showing. And hope, and then that's me. So hope that they even give me hope. But yeah, like okay, so we were like the best team in manager economics. Manager economics was a class that was really challenging. It basically showed you the aspect of economics, but you just put a little like more numbers to it. It was basically economics but a little more to it. So you guys know economics, the, um, it was a lot of shit. Y'all know economics, like, come on. I, I, I don't like, I know. Like for me, y'all gotta understand me. I'm a type of person, like when I take the class, when I'm taking the class, I, I know mostly, most a lot of stuff about it. After I finish that class, you could ask me the next semester. I'm like, I don't remember. Like that, that's me. I do whatever it takes to do to survive the class while I'm taking it. But when I'm done with it, I forget everything. Like they always think like, like when you're in school, you keep everything in mind. I, we, we, we keep stuff in mind we want to. There's some stuff we'd be like, bro, I just want to take this class, pass it and move on. Like, I just want to get my degree. It's that mindset of like, we move to like gain the degree because society shows us that it's a necessity compared to like enjoying the ride, learning a lot and then graduate we, we're, we're moving closer to like i just want to get a degree and i don't give a f of what i'm learning when it should be i enjoy what i'm learning i'm gonna keep what i'm learning and then i'm gonna graduate with a lot of stuff um that I, i'm capable of doing and have a lot of opportunities all right so manager economics i had a great professor damn i forgot his name um, was it chapter only bro i forgot his name stein stern steen Professor Steen, Robert Steen, uh, let's Steen, I forgot his the first name, but Steen, Professor Stein, 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 yeah, Steen, let's just say, I forgot his name, but Steen, uh, um, I visited his, his class all the time, every time I was confused, I was like his, I was basically the teacher's pet in that class, because I knew I had to be, not damn, now, nah, don't try me, all right, I knew I had to be to basically like, um, to basically like pass the class, see, for him to see this face, and get familiar with this. Said this kid wants to pass. He's my most determined kid, and I could see that he's going to pass his class. And when it came to homeworks, uh, I was killing it and things like that. I did the homeworks. Had to like 
basically like understand the homeworks, all of that. And, and every time like he showed me stuff when I visit his office, I basically like those notes, I take it with me home and basically like remember how we did it. Like what was taught, did I comprehend it? And most of the time I did, sometimes it, it was a little confusing, but then I basically like focus really hard and try to remember and then bam, it'll hit me. And then, um, yeah, my group, like I said, was great. But my group, the group I was in was more like, um, they do the work. I'd basically be on the side and he, he'd be like, is he, is he helping? I'm like, yeah, I'm helping. So I, and then they'll show me what they did. And I said, Oh, that's the good and stuff. I like, like they respected my opinion, really. But I said, that's the great stuff. I and I'm not saying that so y'all don't say you didn't do nothing, but I did do stuff. I did stuff. But most of the time when I did stuff, it was more like they did it themselves. And then they check, like they check on me to say like, Oh, do, do I agree with it? And then I'll try to do, it's like, why not? Like when you guys are doing it, make me get into it. But it was just the three of them. And then they basically like do it. And if I did agree with it, we redo it with me involved. But it, besides that, they always say like, Oh, you, you understand? I say, yeah, let me look at it right quick. Look at it. Like, how do you expect me to interact and be a, a part of it when it was, when they made it so hard? And I know I'm supposed to be, into, I'm supposed to take initiative and try to say I want to be a part, but it was more like, like, um, they were making me, me be a part of it. They just like, it was like always at the end of them doing the work. And most of the time they did it, it was right on spot. Or most of the time, like the, I'm still trying to, cause the professor always taught us it for the first 30, first hour of class. And the next a couple of hours, he'll give us assignments after assignments. And everything he taught us in the first hour, we basically have to write notes on it to basically be able to do the assignments that he gave us afterwards. So basically like, um, the notes that I was written, I try to study it right then and there when we all supposed to be doing the assignments. I don't know if they be trying like learning it while he's teaching it, but me, it's like take the notes and then after I try to study it to learn assignment. So while I'm studying and trying to understand this, they're doing it. And then when they do it, they come, come to my face and say, okay, you understand what? But they were like great, nice people. We were a great group. We talked about life. It was just like everybody looking from the outside, like outside looking in, like they were like, you guys were perfect. You guys are the best group and stuff like that. I went up there and then they, 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 like people that I was going to F up, I killed work. Cause you have to go up there in, in that class two times showing the work of a, of a, a lesson he taught that day. That's how you show if you really understand, if you really pay attention. I always pay attention, like I told you. It's just that I always have to like sit down and like look at stuff and understand it before I get into the work. And that's what always effed up because like they always did the assignment, show me the work, and then I, if, if they mostly get around say, it's right. What you want me to do? Say, oh, it's wrong, and then now it's right. But you ain't correct anything. I'm wasting that time. So I, I wish like more patience with me trying to understand it, and then like we get into it. But it always felt like I, like. I wasn't doing anything when I really was trying to. There was a few assignments like they relied on me and I did my part, but it was just like, you get me? Like it was more like it wasn't happening. So it was like, it was more like, okay, let it happen and I gotta do my part. So, um, like I said, great group. We talked to each other, interact with each other on group me like told you what's on the test what to study we were just an interactive group um when it came to a group of science, uh, projects I, I worked on it with them we were great and things like that one thing he told us in the beginning of the semester he told us like compared to other classes when it comes to peer evaluation because my major had peer evaluation and peer evaluation is a huge part of your final grade in my major i know stupid man integrated business yeah they replaced that with business administration so you know what business administration is Imagine your school replacing it with integrated business. Integrated business was always a, a, um, a major. I have a video of explaining integrated business. I upload it, but they upload it public. So, yeah, I don't know if I want to show y'all that because uh, it's going to be like without my sunglasses. And you know, no face, no <laughs> Yeah, I'll just play. I'll upload it one of these days. But yeah, like, um, yeah, what I was saying, yeah, so, dang, what was I saying? Okay, so. We worked on group project every time uh, after exams. We basically show each other like what to expect, what to study. We were just an interactive, great, a great group. Like I told y'all, the aspect was a class. Like I said, I, I visited a professor Deborah Stein and Stein, Stein, uh, Stern in, in, in his office, always studying, always joining the bar. And then when exams come, first exam I did okay, second exam I did better. And I was always staying after class trying to learn more. That was a part of me, like basically I like, basically like always want to make sure I'm on top of things to make sure nothing goes wrong. 
So yeah, it was the final exam. We all like were all into it, things like that. So remember, like I was saying, in the beginning of the semester, he told us compared to other classes, it's always like whatever you get, that's the percent you get. But his class, he said, remember what he said? He said, it's not what you do out of 100, that's your percent. It's how far you away away from 100. So he basically said, in his class, you can only lose points, you can't earn them. So it's like, you can't get a percentage, you're just gonna lose points of how far you're away from 100. Remember, he told us that the first day of class. So, to make a long story short, great group throughout the whole semester, like I told you, everything I told you is exactly what kept on happening the rest of the semester. Studying hard, visiting his office, learning stuff, being with the group, interacting with the projects, trying to do my part with the group project, but it was more like they did it, I was trying to learn it at that time. And then like, um, Peer evaluation time came. We did peer evaluation. I gave them all 100 out of 100. No points away from 100. So then, yeah, like time came, stuff like that. And then I took the final exam. And I did kind of, I did pretty good. I did my part to pass the final exam. So then final grades come out. And remember, I did part one. I will explain y'all to part project management in part two. But pro project management, I see a D. And then for manager economics, I see a D plus. I refresh, I refresh, tears start coming out of my eyes. Mind you, this is the night before graduation, I see these grades. These two grades that demoralize me. Someone who never failed class before, demoralized the night before graduation, his uh, college graduation, the graduation he waited his whole life for to find out he failed two classes. Are you serious right now? So it's like, what the F happened? And then I emailed a professor because I was one of his favorite students saying like, why, why, like, why, like, um, I thought I passed your class. I was doing great things like that. And it's like, I said, that's a good question. He said, ask your teammates. And when he, once he said that, I went straight to my grades to see the peer evaluation. Do you, do you know they gave me a 75 out of 100? I went on group me. I confronted them. It's like 75% is average. It's good and stuff like that. I said 75 out of 100 is 25 points away from 100. Remember, he said you could only lose, not earn. If you get 100, you just stay at the grade you're, you're at. But if you're away from 100, you get the points deducted from your final grade. So because of peer evaluation, I failed a class that I did good in. I failed a class that I did great in. And I was just like, Are you serious? And and I, I could have kept on messaging them. I could have. I could have kept on messaging them, right? But then it was more.